Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, let's take a look again on the gold market, so you can see the performance recently to the upside, and we have explained this in the telegram, signal the event that has happened in Iran, where the president has been killed in a, a helicopter crash, so it seems that right now to be uh, the opposite politician, that uh, following the interest of, the t of, of your nature is becoming not the privilege, but it's just becoming dangerous for life. Uh, once you go to the position to the uh, liberal forces, your uh, life stands under a big risk. So first was Fitzo, now this is the RC. Who will be next is a rhetoric question. So um, on the news on about this, uh, you can see that coal has, has formed this upper deck. And as we discussed in the vehicle report, that here is direct upward action might be not bad for potential double ripple sell pattern on the vehicle chart, but it's totally destroyed the idea of the butterfly. It's just because the top of the right wing has been taken out, it means that the butterfly pattern is not valid anymore, so we do not need it. Currently, you could see that market stands at the daily rebut, challenging the top, and actually. Uh, whether it will be the washing rinse or not, we will see. It will depend on the reaction. So if we will, we will see straight downward reaction, um, that might be treated as a washing rinse, and, and uh, we, we could uh, next turn our attention to the possible double repo sell on the weekly chart. Because for now, if you take a look at the weekly gold, recall what we talked about in the weekly report, everything stands in favor of this pattern. So a second top uh, has been formed, so market's challenging the previous top. Now we need to, to see uh, and to wait and see what will happen. So downside action here with a relatively good pace might be uh, the background for a possible deep retracement on the gold market and forming double repo sell on the weekly chart because first close we have here. It's already has happened. So that's one of the patterns that we will be watching for. Uh, next one is a possible upper continuation, of course, uh, with the targets that we already have specified. So if you remember, we have 24.56 target, uh, so, sorry, uh, 25, uh, 60, 25.65 and 25.15 approximately. But this will happen only with the upper direct continuation and uh, hardly this will be um, very probable because of the daily rebound. So market could probably keep creeping higher, but it will be slowly and this target probably will be achieved not this week. So now all attentions what will happen in the top. On the four hour time frame chart, you could see that the OP has been completed. That's by the way, the XOP that I'm talking about, 25 even, as we have also as place. And currently market stands stubbornly around the top. So uh, on the hourly chart, let's take the shape of some kind of the triangle pattern inside of this uh, pattern we have the A, B, C, D and two targets. So uh, first one around 24, 2394, better to say, which is will be the OP green agreement for the first confluence. And next we have the XOP 2365 that also stands in agreement with the 2377, 2384 confluence area. So these two levels in the short term will be interesting for a possible position taken uh, because this will be near but low, low, low border of this channel. Uh, it's initially we said in the in the report in the vehicle report that here we do not have any patterns. But if market will drop back to the lows, lower border of this uh, consolidation, we probably could consider taking the long position. This will be relatively safe, not not too high risk will be with this, and then we will see what will happen. Um, why I am talking about the possible double repo? Well, currently it is not as obvious by far, just because of the same reasons that we uh, discussed in the weekly, oh, sorry, on, on the euro today. First is uh, on the dollar index on the weekly chart, we have the bullish grubber that suggests the strength of the United States dollar and moving above this area. 
correspondingly on the 10 euro bonds we also could get our prediction if we will get the grubber within the couple of weeks maybe this week maybe next week all this stuff is on the weekly chart in this case yields could return back to the 475 and even higher as you understand rising of the yields together with the dollar will make the pressure on the gold market and could trigger deeper retracement from that standpoint double repo that potentially might be formed on the weekly chart seems not as actually impossible as it probably could be suggested so let's just keep watching and see what will happen so for today i would watch for deeper retracement and watching for the levels that uh, we have just specified here on the hourly chart